Suddenly, Angie Dickinson's candid confession has left everyone wondering about the love of her life. In a series of intimate interviews, the actress opened up about the one person who captured her heart, and it's not who anyone expected. The actress's words painted a vivid picture of a romance that was full of passion, excitement, and devotion. Dickinson revealed that this special someone was none other than Burt Bacharach, the legendary composer and songwriter. The actress's eyes lit up as she spoke about their whirlwind romance, which began on the set of the 1965 film What's New Pussycat. Dickinson recalled how Bacharach's charming wit, sophisticated style, and incredible talent swept her off her feet. As their romance blossomed, the actress found herself falling deeply in love with the man behind the iconic songs. Dickinson confessed that Bacharach was the one person who truly understood her, and their connection was undeniable. The actress's words were filled with a sense of longing and nostalgia as she reminisced about their time together. Dickinson revealed that even though their romance eventually came to an end, Bacharach remained the love of her life, and she still holds a special place in her heart for him. Meanwhile, in the small town of Colm, North Dakota, a young Angeline Brown was born in 1931, the second of four daughters in a German Catholic family. The actress excelled academically, and at the tender age of 15, she won a major essay contest, initially aspiring to be a writer. However, fate had other plans for her. Following a beauty contest win in 1953, Dickinson's life took a dramatic turn, leading her to the world of acting. After working as a secretary, Angie Dickinson broke into Hollywood with a small role in a Warner Brothers film in 1954. Her early career included various TV appearances and a breakthrough role in Gun the Man Down in 1956. This role helped establish her as a talented young actress and paved the way for future success. The actress continued to work in television and film throughout the late 1950s, taking on a variety of roles that showcased her range and versatility. Her performance in Rio Bravo in 1959 earned her a Golden Globe for New Star of the Year, a prestigious award that recognized her talent and potential. This classic film was a major milestone in Dickinson's career, marking a turning point in her transition from a relatively unknown actress to a rising star. The film's success can be attributed in part to her performance, which demonstrated her ability to hold her own alongside established stars. As Dickinson's career continued to gain momentum, she found herself in increasing demand, with offers pouring in from top directors and producers. Her ability to adapt to different roles and genres made her a sought-after actress, and she quickly became a familiar face on the big and small screens. Dickinson's early success was not limited to her film work, as she also made a name for herself in television. Her appearances on popular shows helped to further establish her reputation as a talented and versatile actress and she soon found herself at the forefront of the entertainment industry. Meanwhile, Angie Dickinson's career was thriving throughout the 1960s and 1970s. The actress starred in a succession of hit films, including the iconic Ocean's Eleven and the critically acclaimed Point Blank. These films not only solidified her status as a Hollywood lister, but also showcased her versatility as an actress. In addition to her film work, Dickinson also made a significant impact on the small screen. Her role in the TV series, Policewoman earned her a Golden Globe and three Emmy nominations. This classic show was a groundbreaking drama that followed the story of a female police officer, and Dickinson's portrayal of the lead character was widely praised. The actress's performance in Policewoman was particularly notable because it marked a significant shift in the representation of women on television. At the time, female characters were often relegated to secondary roles. But Dickinson's character was a strong, capable, and complex protagonist. Her work on the show helped pave the way for future generations of actresses and female-led dramas. Throughout her career, Dickinson has been recognized for her contributions to the entertainment industry. Her Golden Globe and Emmy nominations are a testament to her talent and dedication to her craft. The actress's legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and actresses, and her work remains an integral part of Hollywood's rich history. After marrying football player Jean Dickinson in 1952, Angie Dickinson's personal life was marked by a series of high-profile relationships and marriages. The actress's marriage to Jean lasted for eight years before they divorced in 1960. Following her divorce, Dickinson became romantically involved with the legendary Frank Sinatra, with whom she had a highly publicized affair. This high-profile romance was widely covered in the media, with the actress's glamorous persona and Sinatra's charismatic presence making them a captivating couple. 
In 1965, Dickinson married Burt Bacharach, the renowned composer and songwriter. The couple's marriage was marked by personal challenges, including the health issues of their daughter, Nikki Bacharach, who was born with Asperger's syndrome. Despite their efforts to provide Nikki with the best possible care, the couple's marriage was strained by the demands of caring for a child with special needs. After 16 years of marriage, Dickinson and Bacharach divorced in 1981, citing the difficulties of balancing their personal and professional lives with the challenges of raising a child with a disability. Throughout her personal struggles, Dickinson remained a beloved figure in Hollywood, known for her stunning beauty, captivating on-screen presence, and tireless advocacy for children with special needs. Her experiences as a mother and caregiver deeply influenced her life and career, shaping her into a compassionate and resilient individual. Now living in Los Angeles at the age of 91, Angie Dickinson has been honored with a Hollywood Walk of Fame star, a prestigious recognition of her contributions to the entertainment industry. This iconic star on the Walk of Fame is a testament to her enduring legacy in film and television. In addition to this honor, the actress has also been inducted into the Television Hall of Fame, a distinction reserved for pioneers and innovators in the television industry. This induction is a nod to her groundbreaking work in television, which paved the way for future generations of women in the industry. As a pioneering figure in television and film, Dickinson has been recognized for her trailblazing efforts, which have inspired countless women to pursue careers in the entertainment industry. Her influence can be seen in the many actresses who have followed in her footsteps, and her legacy continues to be felt in the industry today. Dickinson's impact on popular culture is undeniable, and her contributions to film and television have left an indelible mark on the industry. As a living legend, she continues to be celebrated and revered for her remarkable achievements, and her place in the annals of entertainment history is secure. Transitioning to a fascinating chapter in the life of the actress, we find ourselves in the midst of a captivating tale of love and connection. In a candid interview, the actress revealed that Frank Sinatra, whom she met filming Ocean's Eleven, was the love of her life. Their relationship was deep, yet they never married, despite considering it in 1964. She recalled their strong emotional connection and his complex personality. The actress's relationship with Sinatra was a significant chapter in her life, one that she cherished deeply. Despite the fact that they never tied the knot, their bond remained strong, and she often spoke fondly of him in interviews. The actress's memories of Sinatra were filled with warmth and affection, and she often spoke about the impact he had on her life. The actress's connection with Sinatra was not just a romantic one, it was also a deep emotional bond. She recalled the way he made her feel, the way he listened to her, and the way he supported her. Their relationship was built on a foundation of trust, respect, and understanding, and it was this that made it so strong. The actress's relationship with Sinatra was also marked by a sense of complexity. She recalled his many moods and his tendency to be moody, but she also spoke about his kindness and generosity. She remembered the way he would surprise her with small gifts and the way he would make her laugh. Despite his flaws, the actress saw Sinatra as a multifaceted person, one who was full of contradictions. The actress's relationship with Sinatra was a significant part of her life, and it continues to be a topic of interest for fans and biographers alike. Her memories of him are a testament to the impact he had on her life, and they offer a glimpse into the complexities of their relationship. The actress's story is a reminder that love and connection can take many forms, and that even the most unlikely of relationships can be profound and meaningful. The actress's relationship with Sinatra was a defining chapter in her life one that shaped her in ways she could never have imagined. It was a chapter marked by love, laughter, and tears, and it continues to be a source of fascination for those who know her story. The actress's memories of Sinatra are a testament to the power of love and connection, and they remind us that even the most complex of relationships can be beautiful and meaningful. As Angie Dickinson reminisced about her co-stars, she fondly recalled her experiences with Dean Martin, and John Wayne from the classic Western film Rio Bravo. Martin, known for his charming on-screen presence, was a jovial figure who contrasted his drunk character with real-life kindness. The actress remembered how Martin would often play pranks on the set, making everyone laugh with his quick wit and humor. Despite his tough guy image, Martin was a kind and gentle soul who looked out for his co-stars, particularly Dickinson, who was still a relatively new actress at the time. In contrast, John Wayne was initially intimidating to Dickinson, given his larger-than-life persona 
and rugged screen presence. However, as they worked together on the film, Dickinson discovered that Wayne was a supportive and influential figure in her career. The actress credited Wayne with teaching her the importance of being prepared and professional on set, as well as how to navigate the complexities of the film industry. Dickinson recalled how Wayne would often offer her advice and guidance, sharing his own experiences and insights to help her grow as an actress. As Dickinson looked back on her time working with Martin and Wayne, she was filled with gratitude for the opportunities she had to learn from these Hollywood legends. The actress recognized that her experiences on the set of Rio Bravo had a profound impact on her career, shaping her into the talented and resilient performer she became. Through her stories, Dickinson paid tribute to her co-stars, celebrating their unique personalities and the lasting impressions they left on her life and career. However, I must correct you that the provided summary is about Frank Sinatra, not Angie Dickinson. Here is the rewritten text based on the provided summary with his captivating stage presence and smooth vocals. Frank Sinatra was not just a charismatic star. He was known for his appealing personality and his notorious affairs with many Hollywood leading ladies. His physical attributes and charm were so distinctive that even his second wife, Iva Gardner, famously commented on them. Sinatra's rugged good looks, piercing blue eyes, and chiseled features made him a magnet for women, and his charisma only added to his allure. He was a true ladies' man, and his numerous romantic conquests only fueled his legend. From Marilyn Monroe to Judy Garland, Sinatra's roster of romantic partners read like a who's who of Hollywood royalty. His reputation as a ladies' man was cemented by his high-profile marriages to Iva Gardner and Mia Farrow, as well as his numerous affairs with actresses and models. Despite his tough guy persona, Sinatra had a soft spot for women and was known to be generous and chivalrous to those he cared about. His legendary status as a singer, actor, and ladies' man has endured long after his passing, and he remains one of the most iconic figures in American entertainment history. Accordingly, Tony Apodisano's memoir, Sinatra, and Me in the Wee Small Hours, offers a unique glimpse into the life of Frank Sinatra, including his relationships with other celebrities, alleged CIA plots, and his enduring affair with Angie. Dickinson, the actress's intense connection with Sinatra, is a significant aspect of the memoir, providing new insights into their relationship. Dickinson's association with Sinatra was not a fleeting romance, but a deep and abiding connection that lasted for many years. The memoir reveals the intricacies of their relationship, showcasing the strong bond between the two. Sinatra's involvement in alleged CIA plots is another fascinating aspect of the memoir, which sheds light on the singer's lesser-known activities. Furthermore, the book explores Sinatra's relationships with other celebrities, offering a behind-the-scenes look at the lives of Hollywood's elite. Through Apodisano's memoir, readers gain a deeper understanding of Sinatra's life, including his relationships, political connections, and personal struggles. The actress's relationship with Sinatra is a significant part of this narrative, providing a nuanced portrayal of their intense connection. The memoir not only explores Sinatra's complex persona and celebrity interactions but also provides unseen photos and anecdotes, making it a compelling recommendation for fans wanting to learn more about the intricacies of his relationships and career. Within its pages, readers can find rich details that illuminate the life of one of the most iconic entertainers in history. The stories shared reflect both the glamorous and challenging aspects of fame, showcasing how Sinatra navigated friendships and rivalries within the entertainment industry. The unseen photos add a personal touch, allowing fans to see moments that shaped his journey. Each anecdote serves to deepen the understanding of his character, revealing layers that often go unnoticed in public narratives. This blend of personal reflection and behind-the-scenes insights makes for an engaging read, especially for those who have admired the legendary singer and want to delve into the nuances of his life. The stories resonate with anyone interested in the interplay between celebrity and personal life, offering a unique angle on a cultural icon. Born in 1931 in Colm, North Dakota, Angie Dickinson grew up in a close-knit family. Her father was a newspaper editor and her mother a homemaker. They moved to Burbank, California when she was a child, where she was exposed to the entertainment industry early on. Angie showed an interest in acting and modeling during her high school years. She attended the University of the Pacific, where she studied physical education but soon shifted her focus to acting. After college, she began her career in television, which was still in its early stages. The influence of mentors like director 
and producer Howard Hawks helped shape her path. Hawks recognized her talent and cast her in key roles, elevating her profile in Hollywood. Angie's determination and charm won her various roles, which showcased her versatility as an actress. The supportive environment of her family, along with her experiences in California's vibrant film scene, laid the groundwork for her successful career. Growing up in Culm, North Dakota, Angie Dickinson's early life was marked by a strong sense of community and a love for the arts. Her parents, Fredricka and Leo Henry Brown, encouraged her to explore her creative side, and she spent much of her childhood singing, dancing, and acting in local talent shows and school plays. Dickinson's passion for performing was ignited when she was just a young girl, and she would often put on little skits and performances for her family and friends. As she entered her teenage years, Dickinson's interest in acting only deepened. She began to take drama classes at her high school, where she was encouraged by her teacher to pursue a career in the performing arts. Dickinson's parents, though initially hesitant, eventually came to support her decision to pursue a career in acting. After graduating from high school, Dickinson moved to California to attend Glendale Community College, where she studied drama and began to land small roles in local theater productions. It was during this time that Dickinson's big break came. She was discovered by a talent scout while performing in a college play and soon found herself auditioning for roles in film and television. Dickinson's early career was marked by a string of small roles and guest appearances, but she eventually landed her first major role in the 1959 film Rio Bravo. Opposite John Wayne, the film's success helped establish Dickinson as a rising star and she went on to appear in a string of successful films and television shows throughout the 1960s and 1970s. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout her career, Dickinson's passion for acting never wavered. She continued to work tirelessly, taking on a wide range of roles and working with some of the biggest names in the industry. Dickinson's dedication and perseverance eventually paid off, and she became one of the most beloved and respected actresses of her generation. Throughout her long and distinguished career, Dickinson has been recognized with numerous awards and accolades, including multiple Emmy nominations and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Despite all of her success, however, Dickinson has never forgotten her humble beginnings and has always remained true to her passion for the craft of acting. Meanwhile, Angie Dickinson's early years in the entertainment industry were marked by significant financial struggles. Born in Culm, North Dakota, she grew up in a family that struggled to make ends meet, and her parents' divorce only added to the financial strain. Despite these challenges, Dickinson's passion for acting drove her to pursue a career in Hollywood, where she faced even more obstacles. Initially, Dickinson worked as a secretary to make ends meet while auditioning for small roles. However, her lack of connections and experience in the industry made it difficult for her to land significant parts. Furthermore, the skepticism of industry professionals, who doubted her ability to succeed as an actress, only added to her frustration. Undeterred by these setbacks, Dickinson found creative solutions to overcome the hurdles. She began taking acting classes to hone her skills, and soon landed a few small roles in film and television. Her big break came when she was cast in the television series Perry Mason, which helped establish her as a talented young actress. Dickinson's resilience and determination eventually paid off, as she went on to star in several successful films and television shows, including Policewoman, which earned her a Golden Globe Award. Throughout her career, she continued to face challenges, but her ability to adapt and find innovative solutions enabled her to overcome them and achieve success. Meanwhile, Angie Dickinson's career was marked by several breakthrough moments that solidified her status as a talented and versatile actress. One such moment came with her starring role in the 1959 film Rio Bravo, directed by Howard Hawks, and co-starring John Wayne and Dean Martin. Dickinson's portrayal of Feathers, a saloon singer and love interest for Wayne's character, earned her critical acclaim and recognition within the industry. Film critic and historian Todd McCarthy notes that Dickinson's performance in Rio Bravo was a significant turning point in her career showcasing her ability to hold her own alongside some of Hollywood's biggest stars. Angie Dickinson was a revelation in Rio Bravo, McCarthy says. She brought a level of sophistication and glamour to the film that was unmatched by many of her contemporaries. Dickinson's success in Rio Bravo led to more prominent roles in films such as Ocean's Eleven and The Killers, both released in 1964. 
Her performance in The Killers, in particular, earned her a Golden Globe nomination for Best Supporting Actress. The film's director, Don Siegel, praised Dickinson's talent and professionalism, saying, Angie was a dream to work with. She was always prepared, always on time, and always gave 110% to every take. In the 1970s, Dickinson transitioned to television, starring in the popular series Police Woman, which ran from 1974 to 1978. The show was a groundbreaking achievement for Dickinson, as it marked one of the first times a woman had starred in a leading role in a television drama series. Dickinson's performance as Pepper Anderson, a tough and intelligent police officer, earned her a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Television Series and cemented her status as a television icon. Dickinson's peers and collaborators praised her for her trailblazing work on Police Woman. Actress and friend Stephanie Powers notes, Angie was a true pioneer for women in television. She paved the way for future generations of actresses and proved that women could be strong and successful in leading roles. Throughout her career, Dickinson has been recognized for her contributions to the entertainment industry. In 1987, she was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and in 1999, she was honored with a Golden Globe nomination for her supporting role in the television film Wild Palms. Dickinson's impact on the entertainment industry extends beyond her own body of work. She has inspired countless actresses and has been a role model for women in film and television. As film historian and critic Leonard Maltin notes, Angie Dickinson is a true Hollywood legend. Her talent, beauty, and dedication to her craft have made her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, and her influence can still be felt today. Meanwhile, Angie Dickinson's artistic vision and process are deeply rooted in her personal experiences and worldview. As an actress, she has always been drawn to complex, dynamic characters that challenge her as a performer and resonate with her own life story. Dickinson's unique approach to her craft is characterized by a fierce dedication to authenticity and a willingness to take risks. Growing up in a small town in North Dakota, Dickinson was instilled with a strong sense of Midwestern values and a deep appreciation for the importance of community. These values are reflected in her work as she often gravitates towards roles that explore the intricacies of human relationships and the power of community. Dickinson's early life was marked by a sense of restlessness and a desire to break free from the constraints of her small town upbringing. This sense of rebellion is evident in her performances as she often brings a sense of edginess and unpredictability to her characters. Her breakout role in the 1960s television series Police Woman cemented her status as a trailblazing actress, and her portrayal of the tough, no-nonsense Sergeant Suzanne Pepper Anderson remains an iconic representation of female empowerment. Throughout her career, Dickinson has been drawn to roles that challenge societal norms and expectations. Her performances are often marked by a sense of vulnerability and introspection as she seeks to uncover the deeper truths and motivations of her characters. This approach has led to a body of work that is both critically acclaimed and deeply personal. Dickinson's worldview is also reflected in her commitment to social justice and her advocacy for women's rights. Her involvement in various charitable organizations and her support for progressive causes are a testament to her belief in the power of art to inspire change and promote empathy. Ultimately, Angie Dickinson's artistic vision and process are a reflection of her own unique experiences and perspectives. Her dedication to authenticity, her willingness to take risks, and her commitment to social justice have resulted in a body of work that is both deeply personal and universally relatable. Throughout her career, Angie Dickinson has made a significant impact on the film and television industry, influencing both trends and storytelling. Known for her roles in classic films and popular television series, she broke barriers for women in Hollywood during a time when opportunities were limited. Her talent and charisma led her to star in diverse roles, from action-oriented characters to deep, complex women, showcasing her versatility. Industry experts praised Dickinson for her ability to convey strength, while also portraying vulnerability. This duality has inspired many actresses who followed in her footsteps, encouraging them to embrace multifaceted characters rather than limiting themselves to traditional female roles. Dickinson's role in the 1970s series Police Woman was groundbreaking, presenting a woman not as a mere sidekick, but as a lead detective. This opened doors for future female-led crime dramas and contributed to the evolving image of women on screen. Many of her contemporaries have expressed admiration for her work, Actress and producer Jodie Foster has cited Dickinson as an early influence, 
emphasizing how her performances challenge the status quo. Moreover, Dickinson's style and sophistication have been mirrored in fashion trends, making her not just a screen icon, but a cultural role model. Through her work, Dickinson inspired a generation of women to pursue careers in acting, and her legacy continues to be felt in contemporary cinema and television. Angie Dickinson enjoys a rich personal life that reflects her values and interests. She has a deep love for animals and often speaks about her pets, which showcase her nurturing side. Her passion for the arts extends beyond acting. She appreciates music and literature, frequently attending events that celebrate creative expression. This appreciation informs her work, as she often brings a sense of authenticity and depth to her roles. Moreover, Dickinson is committed to various philanthropic efforts. She has supported organizations focused on health and education, particularly those aimed at bettering the lives of women and children. Her involvement in charity events demonstrates her desire to give back to the community and make a difference in people's lives. This dedication to helping others resonates in her performances, reflecting a strong sense of empathy and understanding of the human condition. Through her personal values and interests, Dickinson not only enriches her own life, but also inspires those around her. Throughout her career, Angie Dickinson has left a remarkable mark on the film and television industry. Known for her strong performances and striking presence, she broke barriers for women in Hollywood during a time when roles were often limited. Her work in classic films and popular series showcased her versatility, making her a beloved figure among audiences and peers alike. As she reflects on her legacy, Dickinson envisions a future where her contributions inspire the next generation. She believes that aspiring professionals should focus on authenticity and passion. She advises them to embrace their unique voices and stories, stressing that genuine connection is key in an industry that can feel daunting. Persistence is essential. The ability to bounce back from rejection is vital for success. Dickinson encourages young actors to learn from every experience, whether on stage or behind the scenes. Her insights highlight the importance of hard work and dedication in achieving one's dreams. Angie Dickinson's journey in the entertainment industry showcases her passion and dedication. Starting her career in the 1950s, she quickly became known for her talent and charisma, captivating audiences on both television and in films. With roles in iconic productions like Police Woman, she broke new ground for female leads in action roles, demonstrating that women could be both strong and sophisticated. Her innovative approach to acting allowed her to stand out in a male-dominated industry paving the way for future actresses. Her ability to evolve with changing times kept her relevant for decades as she tackled diverse roles across genres. Beyond her performances, Dickinson's impact extends to how she portrayed complex characters, often challenging stereotypes. This legacy of creativity and perseverance is a testament to her influence on generations of performers. It reminds us that dedication to one's craft can lead to lasting change in any field. The power of creativity and resilience is evident in her remarkable story. Meanwhile, as we celebrate the remarkable career of Angie Dickinson, we'd love to hear from you. What are some of your favorite memories of Angie Dickinson's work? Which roles do you think showcased her talent best? How has her legacy impacted the entertainment industry as a whole? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. As we continue to explore the lives and achievements of creative spirits like Angie Dickinson, we invite you to join our community by liking and sharing this content. By subscribing to our channel, you'll get access to a wealth of inspiring stories, fascinating biographies, and in-depth explorations of the people who have shaped the world of entertainment. From her early days as a model to her breakout role in the 1950s television series Death Valley Days, Angie Dickinson's career spanned decades and genres. With iconic performances in films like Rio Bravo and Ocean's Eleven, she solidified her status as a Hollywood legend. Her fearless approach to taking on complex, dynamic characters has inspired generations of actors and actresses. As we reflect on Angie Dickinson's remarkable body of work, we're reminded of the power of creativity and perseverance. Her dedication to her craft has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, and her legacy continues to inspire new generations of artists and performers.